When you go online, it's not very uncommon to see many girls criticize the guy's anime by saying, the girls are written horrible in this anime, the harems are what makes the worst part of it. Why does that guy have so many options despite being a really bad written character? And the list goes on and on, right? But today, guys, I think it's time we do something super special and put the ball in the girls' court and decide for ourselves if these animes are any better than guys' anime or if they're just as badly written as ours. With that today, I want to review one of the most classic romance anime that's out there. In fact, this is the first romance anime that I've ever seen made some. Well, the story itself fits okay for the most part. I don't think it holds up very well today since many of the tropes are super outdated and just overdone. Like poor main character works at a maid cafe? Check. Male love interest is rich and Caucasian looking? Check. Love triangle with an obvious winner? Check. But the main reason I don't think this show holds up is because this show is super weird for today's standards. Takami Usui is the main love interest for Misaki. While he is portrayed as a heartthrope, he has a really bad habit of being the most creepiest dude I've ever seen in anime. Like this guy follows Misaki way too much to the point it's considered stalking. There's this one episode that just clearly was so freaking creepy. Even like to, to this day, like I just can't unsee it. It just threw me completely off. Uh, there's this one episode where Misaki had to wear this more revealing outfit for the beach and she obviously didn't want to. So Usui came up with the really clever, creepy idea of giving Misaki a hickey on the lower back. So she had an excuse to not wear revealing clothes. Thing. I don't know how he came up with this solution, but dude, <laughs> like who thought this was a good idea? I found this scene on YouTube and I looked over the comments to see if anyone else shared the same sentiment that I had and I'm at a loss for words, bro. Look at these comments, bro. These girlies think that this is peak fiction. Oh my god. What is wrong with y'all? Okay, so despite there being some very suggestive stuff, I actually do like this anime for some parts. Well, for starters, I do like Misaki's character. From a young age, Misaki had her dad walk out on her when she was about 10 years old, which by default gave her daddy issues, make her distrust men and also hate him. And if that wasn't bad enough, to fuel her rage even further, she had to enroll in an all former male school, which has an 80 to 20 to male to female ratio. But why would she even enroll in this school if she hates men? Well, the reason is because this is the only school she could afford tuition to since her father leaving created a hard financial times for her family. Hey, I'm not saying that Misaki's reasoning for hating men is wrong, but I understand. But despite her situation, Misaki worked all the way up to student council president to make the school a safe environment for girls, which honestly, I respect. Unknowing to Misaki, taking on this role only made her more masculine and rigid in her mentality. That's where Usui comes in. He first follows Misaki because he finds her interesting. She's a hardened president at school and a soft cute maid at work. This genuine interest in Misaki caused him to fall deeply in love with her. During the entire show, Usui is constantly seeking out Misaki's feminine side, which Misaki is extremely uncomfortable expressing since her entire life, everyone around her has depended on her, which made it hard for Misaki to ever be vulnerable around people. Usui in her life is the only person who's been persistent and patient enough to allow her to be vulnerable and even feel like a girl. That's the dynamic that makes this show interesting. Seeing Misaki having a perspective on men challenged, meanwhile her trying to lower her walls of insecurity is something that is really fun to watch throughout the series. Ah, man, my shoulders are killing me. All right, so what would I even grade this anime? Well, if I grade this anime when it first came out, I would give it like a B minus, a B plus, probably because a lot of it would feel pretty fresh. A lot of the tropes wouldn't feel like too outdated, but for today's standards, I give it a C plus. And the main reason is because I had never found a good reason why Usui fell in love with Misaki. I mean, there are reasons out there why he does love her, but it's just not convincing from a guy's perspective. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Now Usui's character written from a male's perspective, I don't think he's very well written. If anything, he's freaking creepy. And if this was a guy in real life, I definitely would want him to go to a psychic ward because something's not right with this guy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys don't hate me too much and don't take everything I say too seriously. Uh, the next anime that I do plan to cover that is popular with girls is Fruits Basket. From there, I'm still kind of, you know, debating which anime I should rate next. I'm, I'm kind of in between Lane and Horiyama. I keep saying Horiyama. <laughs> it's Horiyama. I keep calling it Horiyama for some freaking reason and I just I just misread it one time and it kind of just stuck with me. Yeah, so I'm planning to do that one next. Uh, another one that it's really popular is Signs of Affection. I've been kind of 
hesitant to give that anime a chance and the reason is very personal because one time my cousin mentioned to me like oh you should watch this anime it's like the better version of a silent voice and when i heard that guys i got pissed bro like i took that so personal even to this day like i don't forgive her for that like i i kind of disowned her a little bit for for saying such a thing so i've kind of held a grudge against signs of affection for that but obviously it's a very silly reason if there's any anime that you guys want to see obviously i'm going to put your guys recommendations first and i'll give those a watch before i make the next video uh there's other anime videos going to be coming up soon so hopefully you guys stick around for that i don't just make reviews but i don't know i just started making these videos because Lately, dude, like, I, I've realized I don't have any anime friends. Uh, I have friends, don't get me wrong, I do, but a lot of them, like, are either really far and they're really busy all the time, or they're just non-anime people, so, yeah, dude, when I get the chance to talk about anime, it's, it's a lot of fun, so, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.